Welcome to my 50th flight in 2019. What's up guys, welcome back, great to see you all again. This is probably my last flight review on Australian airline in this year. I'm going on a two months around the world trip soon, so there will be a lot more interesting flight reviews coming up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see them. I just flew Qantas Link from Cairns to Brisbane earlier today, and I'm now flying Qantas Airways from Brisbane to Sydney. Now, during evening rush in Brisbane, Qantas flies to Sydney every 15 to 30 minutes. Today's sunset time in Sydney is 7.36pm. I picked the flight QF549, which departs Brisbane at 5.05pm and lands Sydney at 7.40pm. So, if I were lucky, I would be able to see the stunning sunset view on our approach to Sydney airport. Let's hope it's gonna be a great flight. The aircraft that will take me to Sydney today is a Boeing 737-800. Unlike the 737 that I flew on 4 days ago, this aircraft isn't equipped with seatback screen nor the complimentary in-flight Wi-Fi. However, you can still stream movies and TV shows to your device if you have downloaded the Qantas Entertainment app before your flight, so it's not a big deal to me. The flight was delayed for about 15 minutes due to crowded airspace both in Brisbane and Sydney. Yet again, not a big deal to me. The sunset is quite beautiful. It's now finally time for takeoff. We are on runway 1. I was expecting to see the airport on upwind. However, the visibility at Brisbane today is really low due to the bushfire. I couldn't see anything but the haze. Um, a little bit disappointed to be honest. About 20 minutes into the flight, I began to see the cause of the poor air quality in Brisbane. Well, I hope everyone down there will be safe and the fire could be put out soon. Shortly after takeoff, dinner is served. We get to choose from either salmon salad or chili con carne with loaded potatoes. When serving drinks, rather than using big bottles and pouring the drink into small plastic cup like what most airlines do, I like how Qantas gives every passenger a mini bottle of drink. For example, I get a mini bottle of red wine and water. However, in my opinion, the downside of Qantas's meal on board is the portion they serve. It's not just about its domestic flight, but also on their long-haul international flights. The meal is just not enough to fill me up. I wish the size of the meal could be bigger in economy class. The flight to Sydney is a relatively short flight. Soon after the meal service, we began our descent. Exciting moments! I wish the plane is going to land at runway 3 for right, so I would be able to see the stunning sunset over Sydney Harbour. Well, fingers crossed. Oh my god, yes! The plane is turning left! Guys, enjoy the sunset over the harbour. You don't always get to see this view on your flight. Oh, can you guys see Manly Beach? It's at the bottom of the screen. Now, Watson's Bay, Rose Bay, Sydney Harbour, and Parramatta River. Wow, so pretty. Welcome to Sydney. I've been to 38 countries, but I think this is the most beautiful city in the world. And finally, here comes the famous Bondi Beach at the bottom of the screen. Below the wing, you can now see the two parallel runways extending into Botany Bay. That's the destination of today's flight, Sydney Airport. The colour of the clouds. Wow, I'm speechless. What a flight, such a remarkable view to conclude my 50th flight in 2019. Thank you Qantas for another amazing experience with you guys. Cheers to the spirit of Australia. So here I am in Sydney. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification. Have a great day and I'll see you guys soon.